What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Wrestling Empire on the Nintendo Switch. Today, an Iron Man match with Wade Barrett on my new deal here for nine weeks on Maple Leaf Grappling. I am not 100% today. I will warn you right now. I spent yesterday in bed with a fever most of the day at like 101. Not fun. Not fun. But... Uh, slept through most of it, and it's now a new day. Yes, it is. And I'm here to hopefully do more videos. Yes, I do. But we'll see how it goes here on the show today. And honestly, there was just so much huge news in the past 24 hours when I was mostly asleep that happened that I needed to be here to talk about it. Uh, because, good God, some big things popping, little things stop. So, Barrett, you don't want to mess with the dynamite don't worry we'll discuss dynamite here soon but don't mess with that dynamite maple leaf grappling will never be the same now that the era of attack slug has begun the nine week era this company has been crying out for someone to let me save it so it's time for a revolution the only thing you've changed is this crowd from being excited to being a bored one i'm afraid i've got some bad news <laughs> They like things just the way they are, so all they're interested in, in is seeing me kick your a uh, booty. Booty butt cheeks. Welcome to a fine Thursday on the channel. I had a hard-fought victory yesterday with a fever against Wade Barrett, but I did it. I beat him in a best two out of three falls with two straight falls, so here we are now in an Iron Man 10-minute match. Barrett getting that dragon suplex. And we doing it. So, where do I even begin? Alright, let's start with the NXT releases, of which there were several. But only some of them you actually heard of, because most of them were not on TV in any real capacity. Number one, uh, Alexander Wolfe, who was on NXT this week, uh, and was thrown out of Imperium. I'm like, oh, perhaps he'll join Dane and Maverick, and that'll be a few. But no, he they did not renew his contract. So he was not future endeavored. It was all right. His deal is up on June the 15th, and he is a free agent on June the 16th. That is the deal with Wolf. That's a shame. It's a real shame. But that was the deal. Go to sleep, Wade Barrett. That was the deal with Wolf. They also released one of Ronda Rousey's friends, Jessamyn Duke. So she will apparently remain on Up, Up, Down, Down, but she is done with the NXT brand for the in-ring stuff. Perhaps a return one day, but yes, one of the MMA for horsewomen type deals. And the one that folks have wanted, besides Dream, besides uh, Velveteen Dream, the one folks have wanted uh, is referee Drake Wirtz is gone, a.k.a. Drake Younger is out of there. That dude has gone off the deep end with his wild conspiracy theories, and generally, that kind of thing, if kept, you know, to, to yourself, is fine. It's not usually a fireable offense, but when you go in front of school boards wearing your NXT WWE clothing and have your wild conspiracy theories about kids wearing masks getting kidnapped, then yeah. That, that at that point, you are a liability to the company with your wild conspiracy nonsense. So I'm sure that will just further put it in his head that they're all out to get him. But, spoiler, you're just nuts. You've just been brainwashed and you are out of your mind, Drake Wirtz. So yes, a sayonara, goodbye, well-deserved to that man. So, that's just a consequence of being nuts they're going to fire you. Don't be nuts in public, essentially. Don't make your company look bad. That's always a fireable offense in any kind of at-will employment uh, which Florida has, I do believe. So, yes, that was the big one there. But, yeah, they still got to get rid of Dream. Maybe, at some point, if he's doing what he's supposedly was doing. Allegedly. All that stuff. Now, uh, there were, like, a handful of others that I had never heard of, so they're not really worth mentioning here on the show today. But those are kind of the big three from those, uh, like, six or seven NXT releases. So, it happens. Uh, that's the name of the game with that. But, 
But we have some very unfortunate news coming out of a New Japan Pro Wrestling. Your IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Will Ospreay is hurt. And he is hurt so bad uh, in the neck area that he is unable to defend uh, whatever his next scheduled defense is for that title and has to vacate. So for the first time since 09, the title gets vacated and he is no longer the champion going back to the UK for some neck beardness and man. He just won that thing. That that new belt, that new unified belt is cursed. I tell you, it's cursed. So yeah, not since 09 and Tanahashi has that belt been vacated from an active champion. Now what's weird is that you would have thought that his next defense is delayed because that show at the Dome, which is supposed to happen at the end of this month, is po postponed until who knows because of the lockdowns in Tokyo with COVID. He reversed my finish. Buddy, that's not right, Wade. That's not, I'm gonna lose the adrenaline. I'm gonna lose it, I'm on the outside, the power stunner. All right, well, I hit the finish, so that works, but what the hell, man? What the hell, Wade? What the hell? I almost didn't hit that finish. The bad news barrage is upon us. So, we no longer have a IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, and I don't know what New Japan does, considering they kind of can't really run shows uh, at the moment because of the lockdowns in Tokyo. So, yeah, that stuff is rough for any kind of long-term booking that you perhaps had in, in mind, and granted, New Japan does some of the best long-term booking, period. So, that's rough for the uh, guys over there. So, who will be the next champion? Uh, would not be surprising to just put that belt back on Okada. And we are a bit too far away from the G1 to say, hey, let's have the G1 winner do it. That's about four months from now. So, that's a long time to not have a main champion. But they could do it. We'll see. Anyhow. Okay. The big stuff. AEW had their uprights or whatever with their Warner Media, Turner Media, one of those things. I'm all confused today. But the big news here is that they will indeed be getting out of the way of the hockey. And that means that instead of being on TNT in 2022, so next year, it will be AEW on TBS, the Superstation 605, you know, the classic. WCW uh, stuff going on there from the real old days. But yeah, they are getting out of the way of hockey and they're, st they're staying on Wednesdays, but they are moving to TBS next year. They are also adding a third hour of programming on that slate this year on August the 13th, but it won't be a third hour of Dynamite, thank God. I don't like three hour, three hour wrestling shows. They're too long. So thankfully, they're adding that third hour as its own one-hour show on a Friday night at 10 p.m. So after SmackDown Friday nights uh, starting in August, which is soon, and that'll be called Rampage. So AW Rampage starting August the 15th, I'm sorry, 13th, I'm all backwards here, um, on a Friday. So... Oh, tried for that dirty deeds, done dirt cheap, that paradigm shift. It didn't quite work out for me. Now, that is not the only bit of news here. And yes, Rampage will also be moving to TBS along with Dynamite next year. But uh, there will be AW on TNT next year. And that will be four specials a year, one each quarter. Things like Beach Break or Fighter Fest or Blood and Guts, those big fancy specials happening once per quarter, so on TNT next year for those. Big clothesline. We're going to go here to No Falls. It's going to be a No Fall endeavor. I can't quite put away the bad news. Now, if you're wondering what happens to your TNT title if the show is going to TBS, uh, word is that it's staying the TNT title. So, all right. That's going to happen. That's cool. That's cool. Powerbomb. And that's a rope break. So, why even bother? But, 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 here it is. Here it is. The Power Stunner. 
Boom! Pinfall! Rope break. Pick him up. Do it again. One. Winged. Angel! In the center! Boom! One. Two. Three. With 109 on the clock. Attack Slug has this Iron Man match in the bag. Two finishes back to back on Barrett with one minute remaining. Now, in terms of the NXT ratings for this week, they were down to 700k. But uh, they were head to head with the NBA playoffs, as was AW Dynamite last night. So that's bound to happen when you have the NBA going head to head. So that's, you know. I'm not surprised by that, is what it is, but so that I wanted to put it to the top, it didn't work. All right, I'll just yeah, sure. Get get DQ'd here, Barrett. Get DQ'd. See what happens. Look at that. What was that? I don't know. But look at it. It was pretty cool. I'm gonna change this camera for this last 12 seconds here. Third person. Some rotational business here. As I choke out with the Dragon Sleeper. And he reverses it. Please don't go into overtime. Two. One. Bang. Attack Slug. Victorious. And Monsoon is my worst enemy in this game. I want to attack Monsoon. For real though. Because what the hell. Now we're in a sudden death here. And the clock is counting down. I thought I was done with you. Bad news. It was good news for me. And somehow... You are still here doing it. I am absolutely baffled with... Yes, hold it. Two. Oh, my God. So, yeah, uh, obviously it is Thursday. And Dynamite was last night. I don't have a lot to really discuss there. I was obviously out of it for the majority of the day. So, them tiger suplexes will get you. There it is. Multiple tiger suplexes. And wait, you give an extra five minutes for this match? Are you freaking serious? You ex you restarted an Iron Man match with five minutes on the clock. I am baffled. Barrett is, he's like, uh-uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. This is the world's most annoying Iron Man match. What the hell? I am annoyed and baffled by this decision. I'll make your ankle? What? No. This is imminently frustrating with Barrett here. And I botched that tiger suplex entirely. So yes, things did happen on the show on Dynamite last night. And the Bucks are still your champions, but they're fighting Mox and Eddie on Double or Nothing. That whole card got announced. Sting is wrestling. Like, for real, real. With Darby, so I'm assuming that that means that Darby is not hurt, which is a good thing from that whole thing with the concrete stairs. So I'm glad to see that. But it will be Sting and Darby versus Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky. And a DDT for your boy. Do not send me into sudden death here, Wade. Get to the ropes. Get to the ropes. No. I do not appreciate this restarting of this match. At all. Slug stomp ya. I'll do what I gots to do, Barrett. All the bad news is for you. Pick you up. And German. Bridging German suplex. And a two count. What's it gonna be, bad news? He's like, uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. What's it gonna be, bad news? Northern Lights suplex. And that was not enough. And the crowd's chanting for ECW. Because why wouldn't they? This match is just going above and beyond whatever they thought it would be, Mr. Barrett. I don't get it. And I don't lay down for anybody. The arm drag. 1,001 holds. 20 attack slug. Alright, we're at... Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Pick him up. One... Winged Angel. Referee. Referee. One, two, three. Good God, Barrett. I wanted 
a more than one match episode today, and you're not going to give me that, so that's where we are with that, with things. I'm just still, I'm, I'm not 100%, so this is where we are with things. And again, a minute on the clock. Monsoon could not accept that I stomped Barrett into oblivion. He could not accept what happened with Wade, and the match got restarted, and now I'm up 2-2-0. Two, two, Except the fact that a tax slug is the best in a future Maple Leaf Grappling World Champion, and I beat the bejesus out of ya boy, Wade Barrett. So I'm sorry, Stu. That's all she wrote. Just the thumbs up, the constant thumbs up, the Orange Cassidy, but not quite. Barrett is out of it. There's no way he's going to get a pinfall or two in the next 30 seconds. So just stay down. Just accept your fate and stay down. Attack Slug was a... Attack Slug was the better man here twice. Twice! So take that. 15 seconds remain. Ah, ah, ah. Don't cross the slug. What I'm saying to bad news Barrett. 2 1 0. I win again. Do not have the match restarted again cuz I'm leaving. I am done. I am exhausted still. Oh, look at that. Wade Barrett has that incentive contract. He he made no money from that. So that's hilarious. Now, am I actually making money on this contract with this company? Wages, 1000. Expenses under a thousand. I'm making money again. Not a lot, but I'll take it. Bully May renewed her deal with the Rising Sun. Wrestling School have crowned Shank and Nails their new group project champions. Test going to Fetty Online and Brandy Rhodes. So I don't want to be in a tag team with you, Brandy Rhodes. I got you a job here, and that's fine, but I'm a singles competitor. That's the deal, Miss Brandy. I'm good. I'm sorry, but I'm good. So, yeah, now she's mad about it. Look, relax. Don't call Cody. I'm this dumb neck tattoo. Relax. 20 man countdown battle royal. So, a rumble is happening on the show for Friday. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. I will hopefully be 100% tomorrow. I'll see you then. I'll see you here. And I'm out.